I'm Joe. Today, we call bullshit on Apple. Unless you've been sequestered away in a sensory deprivation tank and buried a thousand feet underground in Antarctica, you've undoubtedly heard the gobsmacked media gushing all over themselves about Apple and their new devices. You see, Apple has become the Kim Kardashian of the tech world. If there isn't some agonizingly pointless news, especially gratuitous pictures, about you today, then something is wrong. All this bullshit is from yesterday. The media has been masturbating over Apple geek porn for years, ejaculating endless stories about why we should give a shit about the rumors, rumors of rumors, and well-informed sources with hints about the next round of tech porn from Apple. You believe all this shit? See? I'm not making this up. Today, Business Week let loose with a little dribble into the collective fat fest leading up to the release of the Apple Watch. Apple design chief Johnny Ive said, it's probably one of the most difficult projects I've ever worked on. What you talk about, Willis? All you fucking did was take the design of the original iPhone, shrink it down, make it square, and add a scroll wheel, because you like those, and add cheaper wristbands than the people made for the iPod Nano three years ago. I guess we shouldn't be surprised. This coming from the guy responsible for this revolutionary redesign of a Leica camera. Yeah, it doesn't look like any camera Leica ever made. Or this, uh, chair with rivets. I'm sure it's great for watching the game. Or his inexplicable obsession for overusing Helvetica new ultra thin. But don't take my word for Ive Suckage. Legendary watch designer responsible for Hubolt's celebrated design, Jean-Claude Bivier, said this of the Apple Watch. To be totally honest, it looks like it was designed by a student in their first trimester. And former designer at Apple said, this feels more like it was designed by a committee. It's pure shit. And then there's the stupid features Ive and his team thought up. Send little drawings to another watch near you buzzing other watches near you with cute little messages. I can just picture the circle jerk of hipsters buzzing each other's phones with little messages and drawings. How about looking the fuck up and saying out loud, hey man, what's up? How you doing? You wanna get some pizza later? But you can respond to text without using your phone. Really? Is this so fucking hard? Yeah, we need this piece of shit on our wrist to make this easier. Oh look. My phone also tells the time. So, tech and mainstream media fapping yourselves into a frenzy over the Apple porn? You are next level bullshit. Apple and Johnny Ive? You're just ordinary bullshit. Let's switch gears to something that matters. Consumer choice. Remember that local choice proposal that would allow cable customers to choose which broadcast TV channels they pay for? You know, the first step in unbundling all the bullshit channels lumped into your cable package. It's dead. The senators sponsoring the bill caved to industry pressure. Small regional cable providers and consumers overwhelmingly wanted it. But big broadcast networks hated it. They won, we lost. Senators Rockefeller and Thune, they, they just pulled it. It never even had a chance to go to vote. You two are extreme bullshit. Oh, L. Franken, we used to think you weren't bullshit, but now you're just like the rest, desperately pandering for votes. Your president is shit, so now you're making bullshit promises you'll never be able to keep, raising the minimum wage. What you and your sleazy Democrat friends aren't telling everyone is, it won't matter. You're lying by omitting the truth. Minimum wage jobs set the floor for the cost of unskilled workforce. So that means if unskilled labor gets a raise to the level of skilled workers, skilled workers need to get a raise too. And if skilled workers rise to the level of professional workers, like nurses, they need to get a raise too. The need to increase all the wages will trickle up through the entire workforce, even salaried professionals, causing the cost of everything to go up which means the buying power of the minimum wage will remain the same. So Franken and other Democrats using this re as a re-election promise, 
You're just pandering for votes and leaving important facts out of the narrative. You and your bullshit is strong. Yep. Well, that wraps up our fifth episode. And by now, you're probably thinking, what about all the other bullshit going on? If you have an idea for something we should cover, let me know. Send us your idea in a tweet to hashtag NLBS. Or make a little video, post it to YouTube or Vine introducing the idea. If it's good, we'll include you. Make sure you include it in a tweet. Or you can just email me at joe at nextlevelbullshit.com. Well, that's all for now. We'll see you in a couple days with another episode. Be sure to follow the show on Twitter, YouTube, and watch all our shows on nextlevelbullshit.com. Until next time, watch yourselves out there. Some of this bullshit is dangerous.